So Chia is about to actually launch pools? Oh, snap. Welcome back, guys. Hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon. Uh, the bell icon so you're notified when new videos come out. Guys, your support is so much appreciated. I wanted to give you an update on the Chaya video that I made the other day. I got called out by numerous people. Let me just read at least one comment that came up over on Twitter. Nice video. Really? I just have two concerns. With your calculation, the net space would be two zettabytes in six months. Impossible. It'll stop being exponential way before that. And two, the pools start in April on the 17th. You didn't mention it. Hard drives are getting expensive. You should buy now. Here's the thing. I don't disagree with some of that. With pools coming online, there are going to be some considerations that maybe need to be addressed. So here's an updated video with some of those considerations. Again, talking about it dispassionately, not because I want to FUD anybody or because I want anybody to drop out of farming Chia if they feel so inclined. Like if you want to farm Chia, you farm Chia. Gosh darn it. Don't let me stop you. But I do want to go over some of these numbers and get you to use the calculator and figure out if it makes sense for you to continue investing in the path of solo farming or waiting and saving your plotting drives until the pools start. Because as I understand it, the pools when they come online will require you to plot all over again fresh plots for the pools to be able to prove that you are plotting. So it actually is proof of work, which kind of brings up the point, is it really that different from CPU mining? Because you're actually not just using CPU mining like, like in Monero with RandomX, you're actually using gobs of system RAM too, because you have to if you're going to plot in parallel. And in fact, it's more resource intensive than even Monero mining, CPU mining for the CPU mineable proof of work coins. But I digress. Yes, it's much greener because it's the result ends up on hard drives. Let's keep telling ourselves that. Let's jump back into the calculator though. Here we are. Calculator is right here. And what I'm hearing is that people are saying, no, the exponential, uh, the, the exponential time will, will be far less than nine months, like you said. And yet, here I am two days after creating that video. And where are we? We're already an exabyte heavier. So maybe we're not quite at that doubling every three days point. Could be four days, but I believe we're in under a week of doubling. That's extremely fast extremely fast. And in fact, it validates what I said in the last video of it growing at about 50% per week, right? As a, as kind of a slow burn, we're already still currently going at hundred percent per week. And it's being validated from the last time that I published to this video. You can check the network growth rate yourself. Hashtag facts current, almost 4.8 exabytes. We're going to go back to the advanced tab because we have to, in order to start, let's just say that you've already got a head start. You've gotten 10 plots in, right? This is where it starts. Now we're going to look at a six month time frame, And instead of doing a 90 day exponential growth, we're going to get extremely conservative and just say two more weeks of exponential growth, which frankly, between you and me, we know is not true, but here we go. 14 days of exponential growth, and we're going to say that it's only moving at 50% weekly, which we also know is not true, but here we go anyway. So unbounded growth, we don't necessarily want to say it's unbounded growth in the stabilized daily growth. I don't know if we can say it's five petabytes. I'm not really sure what value we can put there reliably because I don't know how to forecast this sort of thing because this sort of thing has never quite happened. We've never had a mid bull run launch of a proof of capacity or, or hard drive farming or hard drive mining chain like this before, right? Burst coin and IPFS attached systems such as Filecoin and others, they've always been launching under other conditions. This is a little bit new. I don't know what to make of it. Maybe you do. Of course, you let me know down in the comments, right? Thanks. I knew I could count on you. So let's try to get some collective intelligence and think about that. What is the best ongoing rate for the stabilized daily growth? And days of stabilization, I really do think that based on historical performance, we can say a half year. I really do think that's still true. We just have consistent growth or whatever that tapered off area is. In fact, I wish we could do some kind of like an exponent with a decay rate on it, get a 
more fancy exponent that had a, a decay function built into it, we would just, I think we would know a little better how it's going to taper off towards that stabilized daily growth instead of just saying it's going to be whatever, uh, exponential growth for X number of weeks, and then it'll like drop off a cliff into full stability. It's probably not going to shake out like that, right? It's never quite that clean. So in the same way, like that tapered off, like decayed uh, exponent, like I was saying before, won't be, it won't be that clean either. They're going to be like little peaks and valleys in terms of participation, especially with these pools coming online and people potentially dropping all their plots in order to replot in the pools. But I don't know. I'm not sure, right? No, no crystal ball here, but I did want to go back over this and just use slightly less aggressive numbers here. So starting at 10 plots right here, right? So we've got a little over a terabyte plotting speed. We're going to go back to the number from before 2.3 terabytes of plotting space per day. Um, and where is this number coming from? Well, let's talk about that as well. Here we are on the subreddit. So right here, four days of thinking and eight hours of plotting. I finally have my first two plots. Pretty cool. This person is moving at about one plot every four hours. They were pretty fast. Here's somebody who maybe isn't moving so fast. Ten hours of plotting, one plot. That's more common when you're using just whatever you have available vis-a-vis -vis your laptop, some spare computer that's lying around, and you are competing against people like this right baby whale in the making there are some server chassis right there what are those eight u server chassis right there with a bunch of hard drive slots this person there and in that foam down there brand new hard disks in the anti-static wrap right there being sent to them by the case directly from the manufacturer they've got plenty of capacity to plot their their drives right or to uh, to have plotted later on and right here two systems that are clearly overbuilt for the purpose of plotting only, with maybe a third over here doing the same thing. Pretty intense. Clearly, this cluster over here is being used as some kind of network attached storage, and they're leaving all their plots there. By the way, this is a weekend drinking game. Every time I say the word plots, you feel free to down whatever beverage you have in your hand at the time, including but not limited to ice cold milk, water, or soda. All right, so this is who you're competing against in this race to be able to outplot the fastest of them all or whoever else is on the network and get ahead of the network growth. And you know which of those people you resemble most. So here we are starting with 10 plots. Let's just say you're already in by, for a few days and you got 10 plots going, so we're not starting from zero. We're starting here. We're not going to plot to an unlimited extent, right? Because nobody, not the network and not when any single individual is going to plot to an unlimited extent. So let's just say, that's a go to the terabytes let's say that you are going a bit aggressive and you're going to get several of these 12 terabyte drives right so 48 terabytes and that's that's your target you really want to get there but you're moving at about 2.3 terabytes a day you'll get there eventually hopefully you'll get there you know after this exponential growth phase right someday you'll get there but it says after six months you're going to get an on you're going to average out to about 1.6 k average out to about one coin now let me be clear also i got the comment repeatedly in the comments section here on YouTube and over on Twitter. But Seth, block reward is two Chia coins. Well, cool. But if we go to pools, no, it isn't. The block reward is going to be split up according to your portion of the work that goes into that pool. So we're going to go back to pooled mining and you're going to get the reward that you contributed to. And you're going to get fractions of that block reward, not just two full coins. Now, for people who got two full coins, seriously, I applaud you. You did great. But not everybody has gotten a block reward. And several people who've even pooled, make, created informal pools with their friends have not gotten a block reward, even with dozens of terabytes of plotted storage and the combined plotting power of a half dozen or more people together. Something is not quite right there. So whatever. And by the time these pools open up, like the official pools open up, the distribution won't be two blocks for a, a given farmer on Duchian network. And the same is true of this uh, the, these groups that are creating informal pools among friends. No one person is going to get the full block reward because everybody contributed how they decide the way that's going to work i mean good luck i have no idea because you could be plotting with somebody that has like the laptop picture that we looked at before and that could be that could be one person in your pool whereas somebody else on your pool is like the dude with the three towers that had clearly like nvme raids or like giant ram disks in them that's another thing to be aware of there are people now who are renting out ram disks or who are borrowing ram disks from their work i mean and if you're not familiar with what a ram disk is imagine all of the non-volatile memory, right? The, uh, or the, the, uh, the RAM in your system, right? So being able to plot to that, if you had, say, 
300 gigs of RAM to plot to and keep in, in just memory, in, in random access memory, before you commit it to a plot on a hard drive. It would go way faster, right? Your plot rate would go through the roof. And if you had more than that amount, you could plot in parallel at far faster speeds, at about as fast as your processor can even do the plotting at all. Zero lag time because of the read and write cycles. It's just extremely fast. So RAM disks are another one of these tools that a lot of the big boys are starting to play with. And you could have one of those guys in your pool, and then you could be the guy on the laptop or vice versa. Do you want to pay the guy out who's on the laptop two Chia coins today? I don't think so. I wouldn't want to. If I had the desktop or if I had the servers that I have over here plotting away against him, we'd have to figure out how we actually divvy up the amount of work done by those various contributors to the pool. So really, I good luck to anybody who's running their own informal pools. You do you. You um you you put in the effort to try to figure out how that's going to work out. I don't want to touch it. Um, when Chia finally does launch official pools, maybe, but you guys have fun. All right, that's what I have in this video. It's pretty straightforward now. I'm pulling back, right? I'm I'm really really holding back here. It's not unbounded growth. I brought it to 50% weekly. We can bring it down to 25% weekly. Even cut that. In in half and uh, and yes it looks really good after four months but i just don't think that's true i just don't think it's true and if we have a slower exponential growth right now i think we're going to see a longer tail of it if that makes sense because of that decay rate on the tail end tapering off into the stabilized growth i just don't think that this is accurate either i think that 50 percent weekly was already conservative it's somewhere between 80 to 100 percent per week as it is right now as of the time of my last video so let's go ahead and put in 80 and make that only two more weeks and at the current rate of exponential growth you are still under a thousand dollars for this uh or let's see the for the 48 terabytes let's look down at the buyer's guide now they haven't done a really good job i don't know they have they did a great job of this so almost uh, one and a half k for the hard drives alone another 1.25 k for the system almost 3k for your full build out, which is not great compared to the profits here. So again, at this rate, with you racing against with a typical plotting speed, racing against the network, you can even double that. Let's go all the way to 100 terabytes. See what your payout is. Not much more because you're racing against exponential values. Um, go up to 250 terabytes. And again, you're barely getting over the thousand dollar mark. Plus your costs are nearly nine thousand dollars at that time. Let's go ahead and double your plotting rate and get you all the way up to five terabytes plotted per day. This is where some magic starts to happen. But even at double that rate, up to 250 terabytes, you're only earning about two and a half K, not even quite that much. That's at current pricing per coin. And you're still spending almost $9,000 for the privilege of participating at all. Let's double that plotting rate again. And you have to be rock star status to make this plotting rate a reality. And you know this is true because you've been looking to see how fast people are plotting. So, right? 10 terabytes per day rockstar we can agree on this i think so okay with that calculation you're still looking all the way building up to 250 terabytes you're still looking at only only four grand in about the first six months an average of four grand if you join a pool that just pays you out consistently you're not even worried about luck anymore and your costs all in are double that they are double that right now okay let's uh let's go let's shoot for the moon okay let's absolutely shoot for the moon let's say you've got a full terabyte and a half of ram disk storage storage on a system and you are rocking and rolling you got a an, an epic processor right like literally amd epic processor for servers so you got cores upon cores upon cores that can do as much parallel crunching as you need them to do paired with this ram disk and as much system memory as you could possibly need to address uh say 10 parallel plots uh, let's let's go just crazy let's go buck wild here and pretend like you could even plot 25 terabytes a day right let's just take a look are you with me you suspended your disbelief you're gonna take a look at this with me because i'm struggling to believe that's possible for most people in the audience definitely not for the person at home who watched a couple videos on youtube and fired up an old laptop and said well it's just sitting around anyway i'll just start plotting right we can agree this is is like rock star level plotting 25 terabytes per day all the way up to let's double that storage 500 terabytes now now because of how much you had to spend on storage only getting just under 10k only getting just under 10k you're still spending almost 16k just for the privilege of participating even moving at that really fast speed you need to get even more don't you all right let's take a look at one petabyte one petabyte now you've earned almost 
$12,000. And we, remember, remember, we're still only looking at two more weeks of exponential growth at 80, at the current rate of exponential growth. I'm not, I'm not going to cherry pick facts. The current growth rate is the current growth rate. But if it only lasts two more weeks, then that's what we're looking at. Okay. So uh, I think I've, I've heard the, the counterpoints in the, uh, in the comments section, and I am doing as much justice and honor to you guys as I can, but I can't pretend like the facts don't exist. The current growth rate is the actual absolute state of things. So looking at that 14 days of exponential growth, and then again, stabilization of about 180 days with uh, five petabytes per day. So we're not going crazy. That Those are the default values. Those are their conservative values. You're still looking at a petabyte of 25 terabyte plotting per day under 12 grand with your costs being almost 30. Guys, I don't know what else to tell you other than that this may be the last Chia video that I make. I don't know if I'm interested in giving air to this project anymore, mostly because I feel bad about leading you on with clickbait. Let me know what other projects have your attention down in the comments section, or let me know if you want me to do a follow-up after the pool's launch, or interview somebody who's already won some block rewards. I'd be totally open to that. But here, just with the, the data that's available and speculating on what might, what might become of this network, I feel bad about encouraging people to go into debt or to purchase products that will probably never pay off. Not for this project. All right, guys, I know that's a bit pessimistic. I don't mean to be. I want to be encouraging. I want to help you find ways to actually do better in this scene. And by do better, I mean actually earn money, actually find opportunities that could be beneficial for you and your family and 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 for your friends. So let me know down in the comments section what kinds of projects you'd like me to cover and maybe even who I'd, you'd like, maybe even who you'd like me to interview about some of these opportunities and about some of the success stories, right? If you've had success, tell us in the comments section. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to be mean-spirited about it. I want to see you win, man. And if you're winning, I want to talk to you. We want to talk to you. We want to hear from you. We want to learn what's working and learn how to help more people win. Like, not everybody will. I get it. Um, but we want more people to win, obviously. We're not heartless. I'm not heartless. I want to see you do well. So let me know down in the comments section what I should cover, who I should talk to. And guys, just again, means so much to me that you've hit that subscribe button that you've been so supportive you're the reason i make this media i love your face and we'll see you in the next one thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of the video if you want to be notified of videos like this in the future first off click subscribe press the bell icon additionally you can sign up for the mind your biz email newsletter that'll give you exclusive access to certain freebies notifications for deals within the cryptocurrency mining space, as well as some of our flash sales for merchandise, which you can buy with cryptocurrency. That's right. It's the only cryptocurrency merch that you can buy with cryptocurrency. We practice what we preach. As always, thank you so much for watching. You're the reason I make this media. I love your face, and I will see you in the next one.